So here we see some terminology that uh, you may want to be familiar with. So here we see blunted papilla. And when you look at what a blunted papilla looks like, basically what we're looking at is that the papilla is um, gone and it's flat. Blunted kind of means flat. So the papilla is gone and it's flat, as we see here. So here is an example of blunted papilla. See how the papilla is supposed to take um, or be like in this area over here and the propella has receded or is flat. This is an example of a blunted propella. Let's look at papillas only, okay? So we started with blunted papilla and when we're saying papilla, we're referring to the area in between the mouth. Another thing that could happen is someone could have a bulbous papilla and a bulbous papilla basically means that the papilla is so inflamed, it's so bulbous that it's sticking out. So let's look at this picture here. If you look at the papilla, see how it's bulbous? Here's another picture. It's protruding outward. It's protruding outward. So this is an example of a bulbous papilla. We can also have cratered papilla. And if you look at a picture of a cratered papilla, it just means that there's a little dip in the papilla, right in here, a little dip. And that dip is known as a cratered. So sometimes our papillas could be cratered and sometimes we could have um, so sometimes we can have saddle shaped areas where the gum is completely missing, or sorry, the tooth rather is completely missing, excuse me, there's no, and so this area is known as saddle shape. These areas over here are known as saddle shape, basically where we have missing teeth. The last thing that I want to point out is something called within normal limit propella or knife edge or pointed propella. And that's this example over here. So if you look at the papilla, I'm looking at papilla, ignore this word over here. The papilla is nice and um, pointed. It's within normal limits. A knife edge is nice and pointed, nice and snug, nice and tight. So this papilla is considered normal uh, or is considered within normal limits, could be considered knife edge. There are, they all mean the same thing. The last thing that I want to point out to you is sometimes you could have a rounded papilla. So these are examples of a rounded papilla. So bulbous papilla looks like this, where it's really, really inflamed when it's protruding outward. But when you don't have that protrusion, you can say that this type of papilla is now rounded. And it's rounded because it's not necessarily protruding so much, but it's lost its peak. So it's supposed to be nice and snug, it's supposed to look something like, um, see here it's supposed to look like this it's supposed to be nice and snug against the tooth and it's supposed to have this nice peak but when it loses that peak when it loses the peak over here the triangle or the peak at the top and it becomes round that's what we call rounded papilla rounded gums okay so we can say that this area is rounded so this is an example of a rounded papilla so now that we've looked at all the papilla blunted bulbous cratered uh, sometimes we can have saddle shape where there, there's areas of missing teeth and sometimes we could have uh, within normal limit which is healthy and sometimes you could have rounded where it's losing its peak let's look at the margins now so when we're looking at the margins what we're looking at is not the papilla so the papilla is the area in between the teeth when we're looking at margins we're literally looking at the margin the gingival margin the area that is um, outlined over here and so some things that we can see with the margins is it could be rolled. So let's look at an example of rolled. Here's an example of rolled margins. Now if you look really, really closely, and let me zoom in here so that we can see better. Here we see rolled gums. Do you see a um, that brief outline over here? It's kind of like an, uh, an upside down U. Actually, maybe I can look at it over here. This group this outline here so you can really see it over here it's like a u that's just um surrounding the tooth over here that is considered rolled i can also see it over here the more you look at pictures the more or the more mouths you see the more it'll make more uh, sense to you but rolled gums is just literally like an outline like a u outline um around the gums and so this is exa an example of um rolled gums and rolled gums people might think rolled gums is disease not necessarily rolled gums could definitely be healthy here's an example of a healthy mouth and we see healthy rolled gums which is completely normal another thing that could happen is festoons and festoon is a protrusion like an excess of gums that you see protruding outside 
and it's protruding um, on the gingival margin. Some people call it like a lifesaver because it looks like um like a round thing. If I show you a picture, it might make more sense. It looks like well, this is severe festooning, but you can see there's inflammation over here. So here's an example of festoon, and it's like a lifesaver around the tooth. Um, you, some people can call it like a donut that's just wrapped around the tooth, like even in the lingual side as well. And so this is an example of a festoon margin. Here is definitely festoon margin. So again, I'm not looking at the papilla. The papilla is bulbous. What I'm looking at right now is the margin. The margin is festooned. So we could have rolled margins. We could have festooned margins. We could have cleft margins. And cleft is basically, do you see this uh, notch? That you see that's going down the uh, margin that is another um thing we can see in people who might have periodontitis so we see a notch and that notch is known as a cleft okay so these are clefts that we can see and these clefts are also something we can see um when we're looking inside people's mouth and sometimes we might not even see rolled gum sometimes you just might see flat gums with no uh, pronounced U at the bottom, no rolling at the bottom, and that is also considered normal as well. So sometimes we can see healthy rolled gums. Sometimes we can also see gums that are um, rolled but not necessarily healthy. Um, so again, you can have healthy rolled gums or you could have diseased rolled gums as well.